I'm Jose Rodriguez III. I was born in Prosser, Washington, um, but pretty much grew up in West Seattle. I've been here since I was eight, so I grew up in West Seattle. Growing up in, in the city, I was just able to see more and have more influences around me. So it's definitely helped the person I am. West Seattle is just kind of like a small city, a little suburb outside of Seattle. Um, there wasn't a lot of like nightlife or any of that stuff that I can remember. Felt like a low income kind of place almost a little bit in some spots. But since then, West Seattle has grown quite a bit. I feel very fortunate to have grown up in West Seattle. I got to live really close to the city without having to actually live in the city. Tattooing, it's um, there's a lot of preparation, a lot of taking work home. And usually I'll do at least one big tattoo a day, if not two mediums or three small ones or something. But I usually try to fill most of my day up. And then as soon as I'm done, I kind of just hightail it home and um, start painting. So I'll paint all the way to the end of the night, go catch last call usually, then come home and paint some more, and then go to sleep, and it kind of happens all over again. Ever since I was a little kid, I can remember looking at even the National Geographic um, books with like the Audubon illustrations, and just seeing like these really wild drawings or um, renderings of animals that he put together. Um, and they looked really realistic, but still super stylized. There's something very appealing about that, and those were probably the first drawings I tried to copy. It was probably from those illustrations, and I see whenever I go out to a museum or go to a gallery or even to a friend's house and see art, the first thing I see myself doing is kind of like, almost like reverse engineering stuff in my head, like, how did this person do this? Like. If I'm at a museum, I'll be very close to a painting if I think it's nice, because I'm trying to figure it out. I find myself doing that a lot, even, even when I was trying to make music, you know? All that stuff was kind of like, it was fascinating almost. It almost felt like, like the people doing this stuff, like it was almost like, it was unreal. Lots of different art will appeal to me, so it's not, I do a lot of realism, I guess, in a sense. I'm kind of impressionistic, but... That's not the only art that I, I feel is impressive when I go see a museum or go to an art show. I really like to see technique, I guess, in some paintings. Um, but then other stuff can be very simple and still have a very good feel to it. Um, I guess art is just so subjective. I just know, man, that if I do see something I really like, that I'll be staring at it. That's another thing is, is with art that you gotta try and figure out is that it's one to kind of stop or it's when to kind of let a brush stroke or, or a thing just kind of let it be its own just because it's cool. Like you, it might be accidental. It could be just like this flick of the brush and it looks really cool. I think sometimes when you let that stuff just leave it alone and you kind of build around it, you get cooler stuff. There's more emotion, there's more energy in it, you know? There's a part of me that just needs to make art. Like um, even if nobody ever seen it, I would, I would want to do it. Um, even for the very few, if it was my immediate family, were the only ones that were stoked on my art, I'd be, I'd be happy. But to know that there's a way to share art, either via through galleries or online or any of that, and it has a potential to reach, you know, a vast amount of people, it's, it's very flattering, it's very cool. Um, it makes me very happy because, um, you know, when I paint, I'm not necessarily painting stuff to impress people or to like, to hop on a trend or like get like a bunch of people kind of flooding my way because it's it's hip to do what I'm doing or something. Um, that's not my focus. Um, so it's very it's very flattering that other people are interested in my art and are encouraging and go support the local art festival in their in their in their neighborhood. Um, art's important, man. And if you're not a person that's going to be making it or sharing it, being a patron or being a, somebody who really enjoys seeing art. Um, it's important. Art is, it's, I, I think it's there to be shared, you know. But at the same time, I don't expect everybody to like what I do, you know. So I don't, I try not to get my feelings hurt <laughs> if somebody walks past my paintings at a gallery and goes to the next one. Um, it's all subjective. So I'm flattered that anybody's willing to take a chance to check my stuff out. It's very cool. <laughs>